here we're going to write an equation uh, when given a graph for, of a quadratic function. So we're going to use the template and we're going to work our way from left to right. So the value of a, first of all, if your parabola is facing upward, that means that uh, this value is positive. Uh, and if the value was negative, then it would face downward. So we know in this case, it's a positive. Now we need to see, okay, now that it's positive, has there been any stretching or compression going on? Uh, so we can look at the shape of the parabola and see if it is it more wider or more narrower than its original parent function. Well, let's test it. The parent function has a point at its vertex at 0, 0, the parent. And then if you move over 1 and up 1, you're on the graph. You move on the other side, over 1, up 1, you're still on the graph. So since that is the same case with this transform graph, that means that there was no stretching or compression. It kept its same shape. It just simply shifted horizontally and vertically. So let's get now the horizontal. You know, horizontal is always within closure. Uh, so the uh, parent function, its vertex is at zero. Now our vertex is at x equals five. So it was shifted over five units. And since it was shifted to the right, that's a negative five. In addition to that, we have vertical shift. Uh, we can clearly see that it was shifted down four units. So that's going to be negative four. So when you put it all together, this is your equation in vertex form.